Opil is here. It's the very first birth control pill available in the United States without a prescription. Is it better than prescription birth control pills? What's the difference? And will it worsen acne? Hi, I'm Vina. I'm a board certified pharmacist practicing in the US with over 20 years of experience. Opil is not better than prescription birth control pills. I'm gonna tell you what the difference is and why I would not recommend it over prescription birth control pills for most females. And about acne, I'm gonna tell you that part too. What is Opil? It's a pill that you take every single day. It contains one single active ingredient called norgestrel. Norgestrel is a progestin. That means it's a synthetic progesterone. By the way, this is not the same thing as emergency contraception, like Plan B. Anyone who has already reached their first menstrual period or, and they have not reached menopause yet can take this pill. The exception to that is if you've ever had breast cancer. Anyone with a history of breast cancer should not take this. The way it works is mainly by thickening cervical mucus. This makes it harder for sperm to pass through the uterus. It also causes the uterine lining to be thinner. So if sperm does reach the egg and fertilize it, it will probably not implant in the uterine wall. This is different than most birth control pills, which typically contain estrogen. They work mainly by stopping your ovaries from releasing an egg. So why would I not recommend O-Pill over typical prescription birth control pills? Since O-Pill only contains a progestin, it's a bit less effective than typical birth control pills that contain an estrogen as well. Regular birth control pills with estrogen are 99% effective. O-Pill is 98% effective. It sounds almost the same, right? No, there's a catch. If you take O-Pill more than three hours late, then it's not 98% effective. And you have to use a backup method for the next two days. With regular birth control pills, there's a lot more leeway than that. So if you forget to take your O-Pill on time, it's a huge hassle. Another downside to O-Pill is the price. If you just walk into a drugstore, on the shelf, a one-month supply will usually be $19.99 and a three-month supply, $49.99. You can also get it on the O-Pill website at a discount. Not all insurance companies will pay for it. And compare that to prescription birth control pills. Almost always, they're free with your insurance. Is there any good reason to try O-Pill? Yes, there is. O-Pill is safe. It doesn't have that risk of blood clot that regular estrogen-containing birth control pills have. It's also convenient. You don't need a prescription. Another reason to use O-Pill or another progesterone-only containing birth control pill is if you are a young teen. If you are under the age of 14 and it's been less than two years since you've had your first menstrual period, I believe that you should not take a birth control pill that contains estrogen. Here's why. There is some evidence that the estrogen part may actually prevent you from reaching your full height potential. Yes, that's right. I'm saying that you may not actually grow as tall as you were supposed to. That is so important because if it happens, it would be irreversible. In this case, O-pill or a different progestin-only pill would be the best one in my opinion. I know this stuff is complicated. If you have questions about that or anything else, please just put it in the comments. Girls, I'm a pharmacist and I take questions from people that just walk into my pharmacy all the time. You can do the same thing at your local pharmacy. If you have questions about O-Pill or any of the other over-the-counter medicines, just walk up to the pharmacy counter and ask to speak to the pharmacist. Will O-Pill worsen acne? It could. I don't recommend O-Pill for acne-prone skin. If you want to know my recommendations for birth control pills that are best for acne, watch this video next.